Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Bella Stone, and this is where you can always stop by to know about the latest tech topics. At the end of each of my videos, we also get to explore the animal kingdom and see the most intriguing and adorable creatures of this planet. So stay tuned to meet them. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for hanging out, subscribing, and just being an overall supportive person. Really appreciate it. And here's a special hello for you. Hey Sully, do you have anything to say? Hey, Boo, do you have anything to say? Today's video is a bit different than what I usually make. If you're into Mr. Robot and the thrill of watching Elliot hack, or maybe one of your interests is finding loopholes in computer systems to help others, then this video might be the perfect introduction for you into offensive security. Today, we will be looking at a command line application called GoBuster, whose purpose is to brute force into websites to find hidden directories and pages. And we're gonna be using this application today to hack a bank. Today, a Russian security company reported that it discovered one of the biggest bank robberies ever. No guns involved, hackers did it, breaking into more than 100 banks in 30 countries and making off with a total of as much as one billion. The authors of the report call it the great bank robbery of the modern era. Today, one of the nation's biggest banks has been hacked, and this morning, the FBI and the Secret Service are investigating. Recently reported cyber attacks against several financial institutions. A fake bank. As we're moving forward, I want to make it extremely clear that today's video is strictly for learning purposes and to promote ethical hacking in a safe and legal environment. With that being said, let's get started. For step one, we're gonna open up the terminal, in other words, your command line, which will allow us to interact with the computer without using a graphical user interface. Let's move on to step two, finding hidden website pages. Most companies will have an admin portal page, giving their staff access to basic admin controls for day-to-day -day operations. For a bank, an employee might need to transfer money to and from client accounts. Often those pages are not made private, allowing attackers to find hidden pages that show or give access to admin controls or sensitive data. We're going to start by typing a command in the terminal to find potentially hidden pages on fake banks website using GoBuster. Now we're gonna see a range of variables here. Dash U is going to state the website that we are scanning and dash W takes a list of words to iterate through to find hidden pages. GoBuster scans the website with each word in the list, finding pages on the site. If we have a successful hit, we're gonna be seeing status 200. There are also numerous other variables that you can use with GoBuster. Moving on to step three, we will finally hack the bank. We can do this because now we found the secret bank transfer page that allows us to transfer money between bank accounts. Now let's navigate to the secret bank transfer page to see what we can do. As an example, I will be transferring $2,000 from account 2276 to account 8881. And there you have it. We've successfully transferred the funds. If you were a penetration tester or security consultant, this is an exercise you could perform for companies to test for vulnerabilities in their web applications. I also wanted to provide you all with a short description of a few offensive security roles. To start with, we have the penetration tester, which is responsible for testing security products to find exploitable security vulnerabilities. There's also the red teamer that plays the role of an adversary, attacking an organization and providing feedback from an enemy's perspective. And then there's the security engineer that's responsible for designing, monitoring and maintaining security controls, networks, and systems to help prevent cyber attacks. While the goal of a penetration test is usually to uncover as many exploitable vulnerabilities as possible, the purpose of a red team assessment is to achieve a specific objective, typically to access target data or systems. Security engineers conduct assessments, test security systems, and analyze risks. They can install firewalls, implement breach detection systems, and work with other professionals to solve security-related problems. This was just a sliver of the opportunities that are out there for offensive security, I will be including further documentation on what we covered today for GoBuster and other career exploration articles that you could feel free to read. Now is the time to meet our animal of the day. 
Today's animal of the day is the African forest elephant. They can be found in the deep, dense, humid forests of West and Central Africa. African forest elephants live in family of groups of up to 20 individuals and forage on leaves, grasses, seeds, fruits, and tree trunks. Since the diet of forest elephants is dominated by fruit, they play a crucial role in dispersing many tree species particularly the seeds of large trees, which tend to have high carbon content. They are therefore referred to as the mega gardener of the forest. They weigh about two to five tons, which is about four fifths as heavy as the tongue of a blue whale. Definitely giving me ideas for the next animal of the day. The African forest elephant is a critically endangered species and has declined by an estimated 86% over 31 years. The main reason behind the decline is due to poaching, habitat loss, and land use change, increasing human elephant conflict. I'll be adding some nonprofits in the comments below that aim to help these animals. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like down below. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know also in the comments if you are interested in cybersecurity, if you've been exploring different career paths in the industry, or if you had any questions in the content that we covered today. I hope to hear from you soon. See you next time. Bye.